All right, now that we su successfully installed uh, Django 1.10.2, we can actually go ahead and create a Django project. Um, so we're moving right along. We've done all the steps up to setting up our uh, Django project by getting everything installed. Now we can actually play with Django, what we've all been waiting for. So let's go ahead and create a Django project. So how do we do that? Well, first off, we're going to list out where we are. Just so you understand, um, we're in our uh, main file folder blog, all right? Bin, lib, include, pip, self-check. So the reason why I say you need to be know where you're at, if you open up your, let me get, open up my finder and go to desktop and Django, Django, blog. So there we go. Include. Boom. Oh, not include. Uh, lib. Sorry. If we go here and we go down to site packages, and you see Django. Um, our next command needs to have access to here to create our file. So that's why I said you gotta make sure you know where you're at. So you want to make sure you have you're able to access lib. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, create our project. So Django admin start project, just like this. And we're going to call name our project CMS because most blogs are a CMS, a content management system, correct? So my goal originally was just to write a basic boring blog, but I was like, hey, you know, let's take this a little bit further. And I tend to do things like this when I work on projects. So we're going to call it a CMS because it's going to be a little bit more than a blog. So we'll call it CMS like this. We hit return and this is going to actually build our Django project. So now if you go LS, you're going to see CMS right here. So we can uh, clear our screen and CD CMS and then LS that out. And you see there's a file in there called CMS and manage.py. All right, cool. Um, that's how we create a project in uh, Django. In the next tutorial, we'll actually take a look at what Django did to build us that project. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.